Good morning, circuit riders. It's a wet one here in Orlando, and we are ready to head out to our next adventure. We are going on our big fifth circuit. This is a massive trip that we are taking all around the country into Canada. So we are so glad that you're coming along. We're gonna head to the Panhandle today for two nights at a, a recreation area. This is the first time that we have ever, let me put Ella in the truck first. Here's her litter box. We keep it in the truck now. <laughs> this is the first time that we have ever um, camped at like a government, you know, recreation area, state park. I think the first time. Maybe we did it once in Michigan. But anyway, uh, a couple videos ago, you saw that we were having some challenges with our finding boondocking spots in Florida. And um, in the end, we've decided that that one water management district was too tight for us to get into. And so we dumped out to a boondockers welcome instead. Well, today we're gonna try it again because at this place, Cotton Lake Recreation Area, I was able to book a specific site. It is free, free reservation online. Um, there's no hookups there, but at least I could see the site on Google Maps and know that we can fit in there. So we're hopeful for today. Let's get going. Yeah, nice brinkley. Can I hand this to you? <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so much. Come back again. You will. Bye. You be safe out there, okay? You be safe in there. Thank you. I will. <laughs> First sight on the right. Yeah, I should say site one. Campers arrived after 3 p.m. Okay. Well, we got here at a good time, about an hour before sunset. And this looks like an easy parking job. We're on the very first site. There's a big wide open space. We can get pulled in here straight and back straight up. I'm going right here. There's only one other person here in a tent. And then uh, got a little boat ramp, recreation area boat ramp back here. Nice. Oh, this looks pretty straightforward. But we'll be good. We filled up our water. We've got our solar towers topped off and it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. So we should be able to get plenty of solar power if we need it. All right. This is our, I'd say this is our first real official boondocking hookup. All right. It's our new 50 amp. Very nice. Sweet. Easy setup job, nice wide site. Man, it is so much better when you can pick a specific site when you're reserving these free places because then you can kind of look at the satellite view, you know exactly where you're gonna be and see the approach instead of coming into some place that's just first come, first serve and you might get a big, big enough spot or you might not. So really comfortable here. This is a great experience for us um, being new to these government recreation area kind of places. Let's go for a walk. Have it propped open for the rest of them in here. So there is a few amenities here. There's garbage. And yeah. there is some porta potties scattered about. Yeah, and charcoal grills that Oh yeah, and grills. Picnic tables. Fire nice. rings. 
Yeah, it is very clean here. You know, sometimes you hear about these freak area campings um, and there's trash strewn around. People don't take care of it really, but I haven't seen any trash here. It looks like it's very well taken care of. And there's several cars and boat trailers parked here. So I think it's a popular boating area. Yeah. We were just saying how feels like we've been transported to another season. <laughs> feels like fall. And I think it's a combination of it's, it's cooler now, not only because we've had north, but I just think it's a cooler day. It's the end of the day, it's cloudier. There's all the leaves are off the trees here. And it just reminds us of where we used to live up in New England in the winter. So we're in the very, or very, in the, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the fall. We're in the very Western corner of the Florida Panhandle. We've just crossed over into central time. Uh, we're north of Pensacola, about 20 miles. And um, because the time zone just changed, the sun sets a lot earlier here than it was in Orlando. Yeah, even though we drove west, mm -hmm. we we didn't exactly catch up with uh, the better sunset. So it was like 50, 30, 40 minutes earlier here, 30. And no, it's been it's in the 80s in um, Orlando this week, a little bit of a heat wave, but now it's back down into the 50s. So it feels, like Jason said, very much like fall. have too much time here in the Panhandle. We're only at this recreation area for two nights, but we wanted to come down and explore a little bit. So we're down in downtown waterfront of Pensacola, Florida, just doing a quick pit stop here at the waterfront on our way to the little town of Perdido Key. Now this is uh, one of those things that I found in some article somewhere uh, in past years and I marked it on my map as I want to go. The article was just saying, here's a bunch of cute towns, you know, in each state that you can visit and explore, so we're gonna go over and see what it's like. We made it down here to Perdido Key. I guess there's not really a town here. It's a small island or key uh, off the southern coast of Pensacola and just a real nice stretch of beach. This uh, is like white sugar sand, you know, that they have up in Tampa and Clearwater. Very beautiful. We'll just take a little sunset walk. You know, today we, um, we were both working all day, so we only had time to come out and explore after we were done with work. So it limited our time. And as I said, we're only here for one day, but we like to try to get out and just catch snatches where we can 
of what we can see. And so tomorrow we're gonna head out of the recreation area and keep going west to Louisiana. We'll see you there. That was a pretty good stay. But we have flood warnings on our trip today. It shouldn't matter where we're going. But this, <laughs> we saw last night, we came back from going out for a while that there's some water across the road. So I checked it out here this morning. It had gotten bigger across the road. I drove over and back and forth and it was only like four or five inches deep. But then the uh, the gentleman that comes up here every, every other week or so and stays with his boat and truck here, he said, I didn't need to worry about that. He said, that at the bottom of that's hard, you'll be fine. So we'll see if my checking and his <laughs> encouragement will be true. But here we go. He did and, tell us that it often floods here and that in a few days from now, there was a storm coming through and that we, the campground might be underwater. But we said, well, we're leaving in a couple days. We shouldn't have a problem, but uh, we are gonna do yeah, some. Yeah, he was talking about flooding right there by the river. Yeah. This is- We are gonna little... do some fording of water right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Tires needed a good washing. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the truck because I had it in four wheel drive high. And, uh, I'll stop this and we'll put it back into two wheel. So we had a great couple days here in the Panhandle. Thanks for coming along with us. Now I did mention that this is kind of the official start of our fifth circuit. If you're new to us, um, we have done four other circuits. Some people call them seasons. I call them circuits just because we're circuit riding RV. I have a playlist for each circuit. If you want to watch each one individually, I'll link the playlist at the end of here. I have so many playlists and no, really no matter what you're looking for, an area of the country, a specific state, a trip that we took, um, upgrades that we've made on our RV, there should be a playlist for it in our YouTube channel. So hope you enjoy those and thanks for coming along. See you next time. Bye.